Hi ladies, uh, this is the Ingrid again and I am flooding my channel with a whole bunch of videos that I'm making up now because I'm catching up. Um, I had done some projects like a few months ago, a year ago, and I never uh, posted them up. I actually never recorded them and I actually never put them up so I'm just trying to catch up on a few of the, the uh, things that I had made and um, maybe post them up so you girls can see and get an idea as well. This here is a tissue roll album that I made and I absolutely love it. I brought this to work and the girls went crazy for it and I got a bunch of orders um, and I made them. But um, this one I kept for myself. This was the original, the first one that I made. And this here I put um, lots and lots of fibers. I mean, an explosion of ribbon and fibers. Um, and these beautiful, different, um, I would say like fall tones. Um, beautiful reds and this beautiful harvesty looking um, gold. And look at this. This is a vintage um, ribbon that I had gotten. Um, and it's just, I mean, the color on this is, I, I have yet to see another color like this. It's just beautiful. And um, I added this button, and it looks so vintage and so pretty. Um, and let's see. I just added just, just a bunch of different fibers and ribbons and things like that. And here's another, um, here's a charm, metal charm, that I hung off of a pretty uh, green fiber. Here's another um, charm that is a key that I hung off of the ribbon with this loop. And here's another charm that I made. Um, this was an earring, and a, a, a pair of earrings, and... Um, it was in silver and I didn't like the way that it came out so I um, alcohol inked it I put a um, rhinestone in the middle on both and then after I alcohol inked it well I al alcohol inked it in two different colors and then I went over it with um, a layer of, of uh, embossing powder not UT just regular embossing powder and then it just uh, held it really well and it completely changed the color. And then I used large eyelets. Then here, uh, these were just like little uh, metal, um, uh, I don't know what you call this, like little, th these were in like the um, Home Depot section. I, I really forget, I think these are called washers. Um, little tiny metal washers, which I then, um, adhered I added hot glue and as the glue was still hot I added in these little beads in this beautiful um, dark purple color and it's just gorgeous and then in the middle I adhered a metal um, um, piece that is, is, for, is like a jewelry it's for jewelry and then I adhered these plastic glittered um, leaves some of the glitter came off on that one. Um, here's another washer with a dewdrop in the middle and some glitter. This is the pattern paper. Um, I, f I think it's once once upon a time, but I forget. This um, is a crocheted flower um, and some uh, some beads. And here is a beautiful little, it almost looks like um, like a rabbit's foot. Um, again, the camera really can't pick up on it, but it's really tiny. It's not real, but it looks real. It's beautiful. And then here is a, um, a leaf that I, a fabric leaf that I uh, changed the color on by using the uh, glimmer mists and um, paint. And then here is a little... Um, plastic glittered um, stem pack that I added there. And then here is a chain that has the pretty little um, beads that match the inside beads of this flower. And then um, I just want to show you that when you pick this up, 
you could see how pretty it is as you have the um on the other side you have the um the special ribbon that has these like chandelier dewdrops hanging down. I don't know what you call that. Um, I don't know the names of lots of things. But here I have a tag of me and my husband and that was um, we went out for my birthday and and that was really nice and then here this was uh, a picture of the both of us in front of our little Christmas tree because uh, we live in, in, in an apartment so we don't really have a lot of space but we definitely did decorate anyway and um, I love this pattern paper by the way this beautiful pattern paper is one of my absolute favorites I'll use it for anything if they'll let me <laughs> okay and then here um, this was like I said a tissue roll album I glimmer misted it and then I just using a um, one of those fancy cut scissors I just cut the edge and as you could see there. then here is some more of that pattern paper and I just ran it through my punch and this is this ribbon that I was mentioning before that I just don't know the name of this kind of a ribbon but it's just so beautiful so beautiful and then here um, I stamped on a sentiment um, in this beautiful script stamp in uh, red you really can't see it that much um, here I just added a little uh, button there on top of a flower and here you can you could actually uh, well actually this goes here I'm sorry it just fell out but that actually that little envelope goes in there I didn't realize that it fell out because I'm working the camera one-handed and then this is um, a dimensional sticker and um, in here you I, you can just put in a little note if you wanted to um, okay and then that goes there and then here on this side um, again I fancy cut this edge of the tissue paper and I glimmer misted it here I added a stamp this I cut out of the pattern paper and I put up on dimensional pop dots and then here um, is a pretty ribbon that I adhered so that I could add this very pretty um, um, tag and there that goes and then here on the side I, oh, also, here's a tag I forgot to mention. And this was from a trip when my brother, my sister-in-law, and my nephew, he is the one that calls me Titi, and that's the name of my channel, Titi Designs New York, New York City. And this, it, this little man right here, I absolutely adore. And we had such a great time going to the Statue of Liberty that day. Um, they came down to visit me and um, I took this picture and I cut these pictures out just so you know with Picasa which is a free program through Google and um, you can you can select all your pictures and then um, turn it into a collage and then after you turn it into a collage you print that page of collage pictures out and it comes the, the pictures come out small and, and it's just perfect for like making small mini albums um, and then I just added this little tag here with this pretty, really glittery uh, fiber. Um, here's a spot for um, journaling if you wanted. And then over here, I added a little envelope, miniature envelope, with some bling and some flowers. And here is um, another picture of my of my nephew that I absolutely adore and like I said he's the one that calls me Titi and Titi is a term of endearment in Spanish and it just means auntie because um, the, 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 the name for aunt in Spanish is Tia which is T-I-A and then Titi 
is sort of short for that. It's sort of like, um, you know, like a term of endearment. So that is the name of my channel. And this is my sister-in-law, and this is my brother, and um, this was a trip to the Statue of Liberty. And then over here, um, I wanted to make this into like fall colors and stuff, so it was really nice. This is, um, I actually got this um, leaf through a pack, a package uh, that I bought at Home Goods for decorating like a table, and they were flat, so I just kept them for scrapbooking. But I added glitter to it. This, um, I think was like a Making Memories uh, a pe metal piece, and then I just added a small picture of us, again, cut with the Picasso. And it's perfect, because look how small the picture is, but yet you could see the detail. And that's my husband and I on a trip to Pennsylvania. We had such a good time. Um, and then we have here, oh, this is held by like a little alligator clip. Look how cute that is. It's like a miniature alligator clip. And that holds that down because this is a little, it's actually a little tag with some beads that I hung off of it. And I glimmer misted this to death. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a tag that I made um, using lots of different paints and stamps and glimmer mist. And here's a little note. And then I stamped this bird um, and the Seek Joy. And then this I cut out with the Martha Stewart punch. And I used one of my fancy wooden stamps on this. And this is just uh, the rest of the stamp. And then for this page, here is a dimensional sticker, which I went a little too crazy with the Distress ink. But it's, it's, still, it's still good because, you know, it just makes it look more vintage, that's all. And then here is a um, Prima Flower with a bling in the middle. This is another one of the same um, uh, tags that I made. And I love the way that came out. Um, so I just adhered that. And then here, um, and actually, I realized what just happened. This is a picture of me and my nephew when he was like a baby. This must have been like when he was like five months old. And this was supposed to go over here. But it, I guess through time, um, the tape must have come off. But, um, okay, on this side, I used this beautiful embroidered ribbon. Gorgeous in this burnt orange color. And it's just... Really, again, the camera just doesn't do it justice. And then here I have a tag, um, which I had put up on dimensionals. And uh, this is just a piece of plastic um, packaging material that I stamped with stays on and put a little um, uh, ribbon on that. And here are some more Prima flowers. And this is this beautiful... Pa uh, foiled paper. Then here I have another tag that I made. And here is a picture of our trip to, um, this was a trip to Atlanta, uh, to, I'm um, sorry, to Georgia. And, um, oh no, I'm sorry, I take that back. This was Peddler's Village. I'm sorry. This is Peddler's Village. This is in Pennsylvania. Um, we went there and I took this picture. And again, do you see how clear this picture comes out on the Picasso? I mean, this is a really tiny picture and it has so much detail. Okay, and then... Uh, and then here I have... Here is a picture of my nephew again. Um, he, he, I caught him, uh... <laughs> playing with this one of his toys and, and 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 he gave me that little cute little grin so I took a picture of him there and here is the packaging material and then what I did was I just cut the packaging material to the same size of the picture and just to protect it and I put it on eyelets and in the back it served as a pocket so I put another really beautiful um, tag that I made um, with a little flower and some 
um, beads and a little punch out fleur de lis. And here is another picture of me and my nephew. Um, I'm his favorite Titi. I'm actually his only Titi, <laughs> but still. Um, and that was um, in Florida. And then here is a picture of my dad with my nephew uh, in in Miami at Bayside. Um, and then this, I just put this on a piece of packaging material that I bent. And then it's cute because it's almost like a door handle. Because it's so sturdy, so it's like a door handle. And then um, I just wrote down... Uh, some notes there, and I put a beautiful gold, um, orangey, burnt orange ribbon. And this is a real um, leaf that I just added several layers of um, a, a, a sealant. I forget which sealant it is actually, but and it, it's been holding up very well. And then here I had embossed, um, I had embossed. Some of the, um, um, sorry about that, um, some of the paper with uh, different stamps. Uh, this was a love stamp and this was a really big butterfly stamp. And then I added the butterfly on top of this. Um, and then, oh, and I binded this album using the twist, the, using the cable ties that I got at Home Depot because they have them in different colors. So this color worked perfectly. And then here's another one of those uh, flat leaves. And then on a, and then here is a picture of our Christmas tree again. And I just uh, did this tag. Here's the musical note and some more bling. And then here is, um, this little booklet tag that I made and I added these different colored leaves to it and this is um, some of my projects that I made uh, this is for the ent entry door I made this a wreath and then here is a, another wreath that I made and then let's see I'm doing this one handed okay and then here is the wreath for our door and these were leaves I had picked up from a trip to Vermont and um, I adhered everything together and added pine cones okay so that was that and then this is the last page and I just cut this out with uh, I just punched this out and then in here you have a tag it says love and just a uh, a little movie ticket and that's about it so this here is our this here is the mini that I made and I hope that um, you girls will like it and um, please leave me your comments thank you bye